This is like the millionth time that I've tried to record this video. I keep getting interrupted by my parents, and then my damn dog starts barking like midway in between the battle, so... Anyway, welcome back guys to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This time we're having a battle against my girlfriend Naomi, we're having an RU tier match. Looking at our team, we've got a Hitmontop, a Lolan Golem, Glalie, which is possibly a Mega. She has the Gardevoir, Milotic, and the Flygon. While looking at my team, I have a really poorly built Trick Room team. Definitely would not advise using this team, guys. The set information will be in the description as always, but I literally, <laughs> I literally put this team together in like five minutes, so <laughs> it's definitely nothing to write home about. Definitely has quite the uh, Stealth Rocks weakness as well between the Kerbominable and the Two Cannon. So, anyway, looking at my team, I've got the Necrozma, Kerbominable, Two Cannon, Diancy, uh, Porygon Two, and the Wishy Washy. So this was a fun battle, guys. And hopefully there's no more interruptions. So the battle begins, I'm going to lead off with my Necrozma as my opponent is going to lead off with her Hitmontop. So this is obviously very good for me. Her being a fighting type, me being a psychic type, and the fact that her Intimidate doesn't bother me either because I'm a special attacker. Obviously she's going to swap out here, so I'm actually going to take this opportunity as she swaps. I'm going to go for the, some Stealth Rocks here, and uh, that is definitely going to help me out a lot, as my opponent is going to bring out her Gardevoir, the male Gardevoir named Michael. <laughs> I don't know why I get a kick out of that, but I don't know, it's just kind of funny that like a, such a feminine mon <laughs> comes out male. I don't know, I'm not here to judge, but anyway. She's going to go for the Moonblast, it actually does a dick load of damage to me, honestly. Um, and of course she gets the special attack drop, because I'm Chad. <laughs> Um, but anyway, it doesn't really matter too much because my only attack is Psychic and it's not like I'm going to Psychic Gardevoir anyway, so I do go ahead and set up my Trick Room. Honestly, hindsight's 2020. I kind of... What I probably should have done is instead of going for the Trick Room there, bring out Porygon 2 because it's a little bulkier, um, and then set up the Trick Room on Porygon 2, but hindsight's 2020. I'm going to bring out my boy Wishy Washy here. He's going to call out the goons, and uh, she's going to go for another Moonblast, and fingers crossed... <laughs> I'm, I'm just hoping she doesn't get another special attack drop, and she doesn't, thankfully, and damn it, my fucking dog is barking again. I'm sorry, we're just gonna roll with it, guys. So, my opponent's gonna swap out into the Milotic here, and I actually predicted a swap. I actually go for the U-turn, so honestly, had she gotten the uh, special attack drop, wouldn't have mattered, because I'm just gonna swap out anyway, so. This Milotic is such a damn problem, it's just... Her Milotic and her Gardevoir are like the two biggest threats on her team. Just because Milotic is just so bulky and Gardevoir kind of hits hard. But anyway, I'm going to bring out Toucan Sam here. My opponent's going to want to swap out here because she definitely does not want to take the Bullet Punch. Or Bullet Seed, rather. Uh, my opponent makes a good play bringing out the Hitmontop. Man, I really wish I went for a freaking Brave Bird there, but... Anyway, she's going to get the Intimidate off, and that's going to lower my attack, but I'm actually quite surprised with the power of this Bullet Seed here. Even with a minus one attack, Two Cannon is no slouch. I think it has, like, base 125 attack, but it actually does around half. That's pretty damn good, because Hitmontop is uh, relatively bulky on both sides of the spectrum, so... Here, I believe I actually just stay in here and try to go for... I saw how much damage the Bullet Seed did. Um, so I decided to just go for a Brave Bird here because I thought it would either it would either kill or come really close to killing, but my opponent is actually going to be smarter than me, bring out her Alolan Golem, rocking the, the kick-ass mustache and the, uh, the facial hair there. <laughs> so I go for the Brave Bird, obviously it's quad-resisted because this thing's rock electric. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that Brave Bird's going to do like no damage. I'm going to take some Life Orb recoil and then I'm obviously going to have to get the hell out of here. Um, my Twisted Dimensions are going to return to normal, so now uh, all of her mons are going to outspeed me pretty much. So I'm going to bring out my boy Zamasu once again, the Necrozma, and uh, she's going to go for the return here. And I don't know if Necrozma is just that bulky or if her golem hates her, <laughs> but I actually live that return pretty handsomely. Um, I am max HP, max defense though, so I don't know, maybe I'm just that bulky. <laughs> but uh, she's going to take this opportunity to set up some stealth cocks of her own. And uh, I'm just going to go for the Moonlight here, get some HP back. Um, my boy Zamasu is out here uh, looking spiffy again, um, <laughs> not low on HP. Have you guys seen the, uh, well I'm sure you guys have seen it now, the uh, 
Ultra Sun and Moon covers, uh, where it looks like Solgaleo and uh, Lunala took uh, Necrozma's armor or whatever. How do you guys feel about that? That's going to be the question of the day for this video. I don't know. They kind of look weird to me, but I'm excited for Ultra Sun and Moon, but I'm not as excited because they announced Pokemon for the Switch, and I really want that. So anyway, back to the battle. She's going to bring out her Gardevoir. I'm going to actually set up the Trick Room once again. And I'm looking pretty nice here, so I think I actually swap here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, so I'm going to swap here. <laughs> I can't even remember what I bring out. This battle was yesterday. Okay, so I bring out my Porygon 2. My opponent is going to go for the Moonblast, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm going to get the download boost, but unfortunately for me, it's the attack. And uh, I'm actually a special attacker, so... Oh, never mind. My opponent doesn't attack me. She makes a really good play, and she... Uh, she tricks me, so that's going to get rid of my Eviolite, which really sucks, but she's going to Choice Scarf me. And look at this, guys. This is weird. So she Choice Scarfs me, but in the Trick Room, I still outslow this Gardevoir. That just goes to show how damn slow this Porygon 2 is. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and toss out some Thunderbolts here. Honestly, just trying to whittle away at this thing so I can bring something else in to take care of it. Ah, God, can't talk. To take care of it. Jesus, <laughs> why was that so hard? So unfortunately, she's going to take out my Porygon 2, which really sucks, because that was like one of the more bulky mons on my team. Plus, it was one of my three Trick Rumors, which really sucks. So losing one of those really hurts this team a lot. Um, but thankfully, the Gardevoir is relatively low on HP now. So pretty much anything on my team can take care of it. So now she's going to swap out into the Milotic as I just go for the Psychic. Does an okay amount of damage. Honestly, I was just hoping for the special uh, defense drop. Um, I think Psychic has like a 10% chance to lower special defense, but of course, me being Chad, I don't get it, and now my uh, my Trick Room is going to run out, so she's going to go for the Recover here, obviously doing what my Lodic loves to do, <laughs> and uh, now she's going to get some lefties back. I'm going to go ahead and set up the Trick Room once again, and uh, man, these, t <laughs> these turns take forever because I'm going to get some leftovers back, she's going to get some leftovers back. I really should have sped up this battle. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of the times, you guys tell me that I should like speed up the battles like maybe 30% or so, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm really lazy. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna swap out here, bring out squad goals once again, and <laughs> I get royally fucked here. So I'm gonna get hit by some stealth cocks here. Schooling is gonna activate. She actually goes for a scald. It is resisted, but. Unfortunately for me, because of the Stealth Rocks damage, it's going to knock me to where Schooling is going to deactivate. <sighs> so you guys know the rest. Basically, my Wishy Washy is going to go back to its little bitch form. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm this little tiny ass fish now. <laughs> and uh, I just decided to just go ahead and see like how much damage this uh, HP Electric is going to do. And it does like no damage. Oh my god, and that was Life Orb and everything. So now that my Wishy Washy is so low, <laughs> it's honestly no help uh, to the team. So I'm going to go ahead and sack it off to another Scald here. That Scald actually does a decent amount. Um, Wishy Washy actually has some decent bulk to it. I think it's... I can't remember what its stats are right off the top of my head. But anyway, I'm going to bring back out Toucan Sam. Uh, I believe I have like two more turns of Trick Room left. Maybe one. I can't remember. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to take some Stealth Rocks damage there, which really sucks. Now she's going to swap once again. She's actually going to make a really questionable play here, bringing in the Golem. Um, and I think what she was thinking is maybe I would go for the Brave Bird, expecting the Hitmontop to come in. Um, but yeah, I just go for the Bullet Seed, and that is obviously going to kill off the Golem here because it is weak to it. Um, so I don't have to worry about this Golem, which is nice. Not really that Golem was all that big of a threat anyway, but you know, it's nice to have something out of the way. <laughs> So I'm going to take some Live Orb Recoil here. My opponent is going to bring out her Glalie. And now I'm obviously going to have to want to get out of here now because I do not want to take an Ice Shard. <laughs> so I'm going to get the hell out of here. I'm going to bring out my girl Diancy, looking all shiny and shit. And um, I believe here I just try to go for the Trick Room. I think my Trick Room runs out here as she's going to Mega Evolve. <laughs> have you guys read the... Uh, the Pokédex entries for Mega Pokémon, it literally says for Mega Glalie that it breaks its jaw when it Mega Evolves. That just sounds painful, like, you like hurt your Mons when you Mega Evolve them, that sucks, dude. 
So my trick room is going to run out, like I said. She's actually going to go for the Earthquake here, and I was crossing my fingers. I know Diancy has some decent bolt. I actually am able to live that Earthquake on 30 HP, <laughs> which is not much, but I do go ahead and get the trick room up here. Of course she's going to go for the Ice Shard, but I actually live that too. I think on like 6 HP, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let's see here. I think it's 6. Yeah, so I live on 6. I go for the Diamond Storm. That is going to kill off the Glalie, which is awesome sauce, Banana Pants. And then I think my opponent is going to bring back out the Melodic, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, David. <laughs> I don't know what... <laughs> Her nicknames are really interesting. She has a male Gardevoir and a male Milotic with really masculine names. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of weird. I'm not here to judge, but whatever. So she's going to bring out Milotic. I'm going to go for the Z, uh, Z move, which is Twinkle Tackle. Just I knew it wouldn't kill because Milotic is so damn bulky. Um, I knew it would do some pretty solid damage though, so I think I have it tied to Moonblast, so it's a special attack. And uh, Milotic has, well actually, I think Milotic has better special defense than physical, but most people, um, I think, run them physically defensive. But yeah, so Twinkle Tackle does a dick load of damage, she's gonna go for the Skull, get a useless crit. <laughs> man, where, where are my crits in this battle, man? Come on, give me something here. But um... Yeah, losing Diancie really sucked because that's yet another one of my trick rumors. So here I'm going to bring out Beat Your Ass. <laughs> and props to my man Shofu the Beatdown for the nickname. And uh, she's obviously going to swap out here. I think she brings out the Hitmon Top. Yeah. Um, and even after the Intimidate, I know that two close combats from me are definitely going to kill off this, uh, this Hitmon Top. There's no way she's living this. So I'm going to go for one close combat here. And because she swapped and because the trick room is up, I am. I am slower than this Hitmontop. Thankfully, she didn't have the Mach Punch, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I do think Hitmontop does get access to Mach Punch, but thankfully she doesn't have it. And uh, I'm able to get a clean second close combat off and kill off this damn Hitmontop. So now I don't have to worry about the damn Intimidate anymore, which is very nice. So now she's going to go... <sighs> Fuck, what does she bring in? I think it's... Is it my Lodic? I think she does bring in my Lodic here, yeah. Because my Trick Room goes... No, it's Gardevoir, sorry. Excuse me, this battle was last night, guys. I can't remember everything. <laughs> so she's going to trace my Iron Fist, which obviously doesn't matter whatsoever. So I'm going to have to swap out here because I don't want to lose my Beach OS. <laughs> I'm going to swap out into Toucan Sam, actually sacking him off um, because I needed a free switch into my Necrozma after seeing how much Moonblast did earlier to Necrozma. So unfortunately, Toucan Sam, Toucan Sam is going to go down here, um, but he actually did pretty damn well, not going to lie. Definitely got the uh, Hitmontop down pretty low and uh, killed off the Alolan Golem. Definitely could not ask for more, so I'm going to bring out my Necrozma now. And my opponent is going to go for the Healing Wish. Now, <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. I should have seen that coming. I should have just attacked the freaking Gardevoir. Actually, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, because she would have outsped me because Trick Room went out. So yeah, never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and set up the Trick Room once again. And uh, she's going to bring out her Milotic David. <laughs> and of course, she's going to get the Healing Wish. So now this fucking thing, <sighs> after I worked so hard to get this thing so low, now she's back up to full health. And guys, this part of the battle is really stally. I'm probably going to post, or I'm probably going to speed this part up in post. But basically, what's happening here is we're basically trading scalds and trading psychics. <laughs> um, but basically, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to whittle this Milotic down to the point where I can just come in with the Trick Room up with Beecho ass and beat this thing's ass. <laughs> That's essentially what I'm doing here. And then. I have to, I have to make sure that she doesn't go for the, that, she doesn't go for the recover. Jesus Christ, guys, I'm sorry, I cannot talk on these long battles, man. But anyway, that's basically what's happening. And so finally, here is where my plan actually works out. So thankfully for me, on this turn, she did not go for the recover. She actually killed me off with Scald, and now I literally only have two turns left of Trick Room. And that is exactly the the amount of time that I need left. So my last mon is Beecho Ass. I have two turns of Trick Room left. Thankfully, this Milotic is low enough that I can come in and kill this thing off with a damn close combat. 
Thank God this Milotic is fucking gone. Jesus Christ. This thing was such a pain in my ass. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> so my opponent's last Mon is actually the Flygon, which we haven't even seen yet. She kept this thing in the back the whole time. Um, and thankfully, due to the Trick Room, I actually outspeed, well, I outslow her. <laughs> and uh, thankfully, I did not miss the 90 accuracy Ice Hammer. And that is going to be the game. So thank, <laughs> thank you, Naomi, for the awesome match. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying these battles. And uh, I should be back more, uh, more frequently, <laughs> um, at least for the time being until I start this job. But um, yeah, I hope you guys will be enjoying these uploads. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or Discord for a battle. Links, as always, are in the description below. Um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Peace out.